Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 9.7 compare decimals. Our essential question is how can you compare decimals? So in today's lesson we will learn how to compare for example 1900th to 800th to know which one is greater. So let's unlock the problem. The city bar covers 6400th square mile. About 1800th of the park is covered by water and about 2 tenths of the park is covered by paved walkways. Is more of the park covered by water or paved walkways? Here he says cross out unnecessary information. So we need to compare the area covered by water to the area covered by paved walkways. So we need to compare the 1800th to the two tenths, so we don't need the first sentence. We don't need the sixty four hundredths square mile. So here it says circle numbers you will use. We will use eighteen hundredth and the two tenth. What do you need to find? I need to know if more of the park. covered by water or paved walkways so we need to compare the two areas 1800th and the 210th okay here we have one way we will use a model here he says shade 18 hundredth. So here we have 100 hundredth. The whole one is divided into 100 small squares. So we'll shade 18 hundredth. So we'll shade 18 small squares. So yeah, here we go. 10 and 8, 18. And here we will shade two tenths, so the whole one, the same whole one, but it's divided into ten parts. So we'll shade two of them. Here we see that the two tenth is greater than the eighteen hundredth by these two little squares. So the eighteen hundredth is less than the two tenth. Okay, here we have other way. Use the number line. So we locate the eighteen hundredth and the two tenth. Okay, so the eighteen hundredth. If this is zero hundredth, this is ten hundredth, this is twenty hundredth. So the eighteen hundredth is before the twenty hundredth. So this is nineteen. This will be the eighteen hundredth. And the two tenth is the same as the twenty hundredths. We said that this zero it doesn't make anything. So the two tenth is the same as the twenty hundredth, so it's here. So the eighteen hundredth is closer to zero. The eighteen hundredth is closer to zero. So the eighteen hundredth is less than the two tenth. So the more we go far from the zero, the number gets bigger. The two tenth is farther than the eighteen hundredth, so the two tenth is bigger. Here, compare equal size parts. Okay, so here we have eighteen hundredth, or we write it like this: eighteen hundredth. Here, two tenth which is equivalent to two tenths. We know that if we have two tenths, we can write one zero to the right. It will be equivalent decimal. So it's same as 20 hundredth. So 18 hundredth and 20 hundredth, sure the 20 is bigger than the 18. So 18 hundredth is less than 20 hundredth. So 18 hundredth is less than 2 tenth because the 2 tenth is equivalent to the 20 hundredth. So more of the park 
is covered by paved walkways, which is the two tenth. Okay, here we have math talk. How does the number of tenth in eighteen hundredth compare to the number of tenth in two tenth? Okay, in eighteen hundredth, the number of tenth is one. Here, in two tenth, the number of tenth is two. So here we have two tenth. Here we have only one tenth. So two tenths will be bigger. Okay, here we will use a place value. You can compare numbers written as decimals by using place value. Comparing decimals is like comparing whole numbers. Always compare the digits in the greatest place value position first. Okay, before we see this, what if we have 325 and 200? 45 for example when we want to compare them we say that this is 300 and this is 200 so 300 is bigger than 200 and no matter that here is 2 and here is 4 because we always compare the digits in the greatest place value first so the greatest place value here is the hundreds so we compare the three hundreds and the two hundreds okay in decimals it's a little different because here we compare the numbers to the left first in decimals we know that tenth is greater than hundredth so we will compare the tenth first then we compare the hundredth if the tenth are equal. So let's see this example. Tim has five tenth dollar and Sienna has five hundredth dollar. Who has more money? Okay, using the model, we will shade five tenth and we will shade five hundredth. So to shade five tenth, this is for Tim. One, two, three, four, five. So we'll shade the five tenth. And for Sienna, we'll shade five hundredths. So the, the whole is divided into one hundred small squares. So each small square is one hundredth. So we'll shade five. So we we'll shade five small squares here for Sienna. So it's clear here that Tim has more money. Okay, using the place value chart, for Tim, we write the 5 tenth. The 5 tenth is how? It's 0 once and 5 at tenth and nothing at hundredth. Sin, it has 5 hundredth, which is 0 at once, 0 at 10th and 5 at 100th. Now we compare 0 ones, both are the same, but here we have 5 10th and here 0 10th. So 5 10th is greater than 0 10th, so 5 10th is greater than 5 hundredth. So we compare the 10th digits to see who is greater. Okay, so to make it easier for you, first compare the holes. So we compare the holes first. If the holes are the same, like this example, these are zeros, then go and compare the tenth. If the tenth are equal, go and compare the hundredth. So for example, if we have 1.25 and here 1.35, let's compare them. Here first compare the holes. Here is 1 and here is 1. So go and compare the tenth. 
here is two, here is three, so three wins. So 1.35 or 1 and 35 hundredth is greater. Another example, if we have 5.08 and here 5.09. Here to compare them, we have first the holes, 5, then the tenth, 0. So here at hundredth, this is 8, this is 9, so 8 hundredth, this is the 9 hundredth. So 5 and 8 hundredth is less than 5 and 9 hundredth. One more. If we have 0 point 4 and here 0 point 39. Don't solve it quick and say this is 4 and this is 39. 39 is bigger. No. Wait. Follow the steps. First, compare the holes 0, 0, the same. Then go to the tenth. Here we have 4 and here we have 3. So who wins 4 tenth or 3 tenth? No, 4 tenth is bigger. So 4 tenth is greater than 39 hundredth. Because it's easy, we can just put here 1, 0. So this becomes 40 hundredth and this becomes 39 hundredth. Now he says compare the size of one tenth to the size of one hundredth. How could this help you compare five tenth and five hundredth? Explain. Okay, we know that one tenth is greater than one hundredth. So, if it's 5 tenth, it will be greater than 5 hundredth, which is 5 tenth greater than 5 hundredth. Okay, here he says compare 1 and 3 tenth and 6 tenth, right, less than or more than or equal. So if we use the models, we will shade here 1.3. So a whole one will shade it. We'll shade a whole one. And 3 tenth. 1, 2, 3. So this is. 1.3 and here we will shade 6 tenth only so 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 tenth so it's clear here that 1 and 3 tenth is greater or as we said in our steps, first compare the holes. This is one hole, this is zero hole, so one hole is greater. And now for share and show, compare 39 hundredth and 42 hundredth, right, less than, greater than, or equal. We can use the model to help us, so shade 39 hundredth. So one, two, three. So these are thirty and nine will shade this. So this is thirty nine hundredth. Thirty nine is small square. And here forty two hundredth. So one, two, three, four. So we'll shade forty. and two small squares so this is 42 okay now who is greater this is greater by one 
to three small squares so 4200 is greater so 3900 is less than 4200 or as we said we can compare the holes 0 0 it's the same then the tenth three four so four is greater than three okay here we can use the place value chart 2600 2300 okay so put the 2600 here so zero ones two tenth six hundred twenty three hundred zero ones two tenth three hundred so the ones are the same tenth are the same the hundredth here we have six here we have three so six is greater than three so twenty six hundred is greater than twenty three hundred here seven tenth so we'll put here zero here we'll put seven a tenth and nothing at hundredth here fifty four hundredth so i put zero at once five at tenth and four at hundredth okay so compare the ones zero here compare the tenth seven tenth five tenth so seven tenth is greater than five tenth here we write the 1 and 1500, so 1 at once, 1 at tenth, 5 at hundredth, 1 and 3 tenth, 1 at once, 3 at tenth, and nothing at hundredth. So let's compare. The ones are the same. The tenth, 1 and 3. So 1 is less than 3. So 1 and 1500 less than 1 and 3 tenth here four and five tenth so four ones five tenth here two ones eight tenth nine hundredth so if we compare the ones we have here four ones here two ones so four is greater or we can simply just solve it like this we start to compare the holes, then the tenth, then the hundredth. So zero, zero, the same. Two, two, the same. Six, three, six is greater than three. Here, the holes, zero, zero, the same. Seven, five at the tenth, so seven is greater. Here, one, one, the same. One, three, so one is less than three. Here, compare the holes, 4, 2, 4 is greater than 2. And now it's your turn. You solve on your own questions. And if you are in my class, we will discuss it on the live session. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson and have a nice day.